How to make a multimedia collage. In this video, I'll be discussing the needed materials, choosing materials for a collage, designing a collage, making a collage, finishing the project. Items you'll be needing are gel medium, acrylic medium or paint medium, I explain in the video what it is, paint brushes, lacquer, paint, wooden decorations because maybe you want to make a picture frame or use letters in your project, dried flowers and leaves, if you like to add a little bit of nature to your project, and really any decoration you like, such as cork, lace, glitter, bows, shells, colored paper, seeds, sand, fabrics, buttons, stickers, etc. Here you see all the basic materials you need piled up, but I will discuss them one by one. First I show you the gel medium, paint medium or acrylic medium. If you look it up online, you find many di different products with many different consistencies. So here, I will show you first which one to get. Look, the, it's almost like a white glue, it's very thick. And this jar was not expensive, by the way. I think I paid 20 euros and I've been using for it for a couple of years now. So let me see, here it says that the gel is for making acrylic paint thicker and for gluing different materials into a collage. When it dries it will be clear as glass and waterproof. Paint brushes. In the art store they recommend such a sponge brush to get an even layer of medium. I prefer the regular ones like this one or the smaller ones. The coarser the hairs the more uh, structure you get in the medium of course but you can always just flatten it like this with your finger. Lacquers. I have two spray lacquers, one glossy and one matte. Shake them very well before using. Oh yeah and it's uh, said that the glossy brings out the colors better and I have a matte one to use on projects with text so you can read it better. Choosing materials for a collage. I dry flowers and leaves in books and such throughout the year so I always have these for projects uh, ready and they're really nice to add. I also have these wooden decorations which are useful in many different projects. Let me see here, I'm choosing letters and a heart. And one, two, three. This is the collection of leaves and flowers I chose to work with. Do you want to decorate the wood like I did? Click on the link above for the video how to transfer text or photos onto wood. Okay, so first you design your collage. When designing a collage, just play around with the materials you chose. Remember that when you put things on top of each other, that you have to build it up in reverse when you're really going to make it. Things on top go down last. You can play with the letters, with every material you like. Just move it around and see what you like. I find it useful to make pictures of the different designs I make. Then when, when you're really going to build your collage you have a, a good reference <clears throat> and almost a sort of manual to make your collage. So I make one last picture and I put the phone at the spot where I can see it well as a re reference while making the collage. So making the collage. Because I'm going to cover almost this entire piece with materials, I apply the gel medium right onto the wood and lay the leaves on top of that. Then I cover the leaves with the gel medium to enclose the fragile texture to preserve them well.
Look, the letters can also just be glued down with the gel medium because it's really made for many different materials. Now I take a little stick and, and take away the excess gel medium that is popping around the corners of the letters. It will be clear when it dries, but it's just a little bit neater, like this. So, and with this project, less is not more. I'm gonna go and keep on adding little beautiful thingies. So this project is going to be much less hysterical. <laughs> Look, here I'm using this little branch and leaves. And now I'm going to apply the gel medium onto the plant instead of onto the wood. Otherwise I would have to cover a very large piece of wood with the medium. And this will show a lot. And I don't want that. Because I want to leave this piece very rugged. So pick up the leaves and apply them. Oh, look. Uh, a little leaf broke off, but not to worry if something like this happens. Look, I just take a needle and glue it right back at the right place, and it's like nothing happens. So you should be careful with the plants, and because they're fragile, but you can always fix it, because you're gluing them. Press it down gently. So, and now I'm going to uh, cover all the leaves with the gel medium again to again preserve the, the, the fragile texture of the plant material. And as a final touch, I'm just going to add some extra gel medium at the places where the branch is a little bit raised to ensure that it's glued down well and permanently. Look here, I apply the gel medium onto the wood again because these purple little flowers are so fragile that wouldn't work putting it on the flower first. And again, when I'm finished, I'm gonna cover the whole thing with a layer of gel medium to preserve it and to lay, lay all the little leaves carefully and individually. Look here, I use a clean brush to spread it out evenly. So, to lacquer or not to lacquer? As you can see, the gel medium shows around the edges of the plants and around the text. This is unavoidable in this case because the gel medium is shiny. Maybe there are other ones that I don't know about. 
but uh, you can influence these edges by using more or less medium or covering them with a glossy uh, or by covering them with a glossy lacquer I want to keep this place rugged though so I'm just gonna uh, use a matte lacquer to preserve the whole thing and the edges will show in certain light but I don't mind ideas for picture frames you can make picture frames out of almost anything like these crochet ribbons for example you can cut four pieces or fold them in the corners you can use cork cut it in any shape you like and glue it down you can use hemp rope like this and just put it around like this or you can braid it you can use shells you found on the beach uh, any wooden shapes or forms you have in the house you can make uh, uh, a frame with anything really the only thing is that you have to decide beforehand if you will use lacquer and if the picture frame will need lacquer as well when using cloth like these uh, crochet ribbons you should lacquer first and make the frame after of course when applying lacquer shake extremely well first and then start spraying before your project and end after it this way you get a nice and even layer finishing the project just cut off any excess material the end results please like and subscribe and let me know what you think of the video and if you're gonna make something with the video please let me know as well I would love to hear it see you next time